Hi, I'm Gianna, and this is my model, Nat. Hi. And we're going to be doing the hair for edge. So we're going to start by parting it in the center, make sure it goes straight back. And then we're going to do um, section out some hair. So you're going to want to take it from about the arch of their eyebrow and all the way back to the crown of their head. So I'm going to make sure it's straight. I'm using a bobby pin to make sure it's straight. I'm even sectioning the baby hairs off to make sure it follows within the part. So once you have the part, I'm just going to tie it off with a hair tie so that we don't get any other hair into it. And then I'm just going to copy it on the other side. So again, taking it from about the arch of their eyebrow and up to the crown of the head. back the rest of the hair to make sure it doesn't get in the braid section. So I'm taking the first braid section, I'm going to add a little bit of gel. All right, after adding a little bit of gel, I'm just going to grab a section in the front, like a really small section. And we're going to split it into three. So there's one, two, and three. So you're going to start by braiding going under the middle strand. So I took my right hand, put it under the middle, and then on the left side, same thing. Then from here, I'm going to pick up another piece, put it into my right hand, and repeat going under the middle strand. Same with the left side. And then you're just going to continue grabbing the hair as you go, going behind that middle strand. So these are Dutch style braids. So we reached the end of our straight back braid. You're gonna make sure it goes straight back. So my braid is following the line of the part. Once I hit about the crown of the head, I'm gonna tie it off with a tiny hair tie. Now that it's tied off tight, I'm just gonna go back in with some gel just to smooth out any of these flyaways. So now we're on to the other side. Again, I'm adding some gel for my hands and just making sure that there's enough product in the hair to slick it back in the braid, including the baby hairs as well. All right, then once again, you're gonna take a small section in the front of the hair and divide it into three pieces. And you're going to start once again braiding underneath the center piece, picking up a new piece and tucking it under the center. And you're going to make sure that the braids are coming straight back following the line of their parts.
Again, I reached the crown of her head, so I'm just going to fasten it with a small hair tie. And then you can use either hairspray or gel just to fix any of the flyaways or imperfections. From here, you can either put your hair up in a high ponytail like shown. You could take it up into a high bun. If you have a lower hairstyle, you're going to want to extend the braid from where you tied it at the top to fasten it into either a ponytail or a bun. For Nat's hair, her hair is a little bit shorter with layers, so I just continue the Dutch braid into the back.